Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We read together Psalm 61. Hear my crying, O God, and listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you with fainting heart. O set me on the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever and take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, will hear my vows. You will grant the request of those who fear your name. You will add length to the days of the, of the life of the king, that his years may endure throughout all generations. May he sit enthroned before God forever. May steadfast love and truth watch over him. So will I bring my praises to your name, and day by day fulfil my vows. From the ends of the earth we call to the God of all the earth. Of course, in ancient times people believed in regional gods, gods of particular areas. But our God is the God of all the world. Psalm 62 On God alone my soul in stillness waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall never be shaken. How long will all of you assail me to destroy me, as you would a tottering wall or leaning fence? They plot only to thrust me down from my place of honour. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their heart they curse. Wait on God, alone in stillness, O my soul, for in him is my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my strength and my glory. God is my rock, in him is my refuge. Put your trust in him always, my people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. The peoples are but a breath. The whole human race are deceit. On the scales they are altogether lighter than air. Put no trust in oppression. In robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God spoke once. And twice have I heard the same, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O God, for you repay everyone according to their deeds. Even if money increases, we don't set our hearts on it. If money increases in others, we don't set our hearts on it. Our hearts are placed, our heart's desire is the Lord, and in him. We rejoice and trust. Zechariah chapter 9 verses 9 to 12. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey. On a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double. The Lord. Uh, prophesies through the prophet Zechariah that there is coming one who is triumphant and victorious riding on a colt, the foal of a donkey. And of course that promise is fulfilled in Jesus. We read uh, Luke 16, 19-31 There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and in fine linen who feasted sumptuously every day. At his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick his sores. The poor man died and was carried away by angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was being tormented, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. He called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime you received your good things, 
and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. Besides all this, between you and us a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who might want to pass from here to you cannot do so, and no one can cross from there to us. He said, Then, Father, I beg you to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he might warn them, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets, they should listen to them. He said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they, neither will they be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. There's a really telling phrase that they won't be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. And this, I think, by Jesus was prophetic, talking about his resurrection. His resurrection didn't result in all the world putting their trust in him. People found ways to deny it, to uh, obscure it, and still today people find ways to uh, obscure, hide, deny the resurrection. Even if someone comes back from the dead, people don't believe their words. Lord, we offer up to you today and the church around the world. Lord, we pray in the celebrations of this day that, and in the preparations for next week, that Lord, you will soften our hearts again. And Lord, prepare us in quiet meditation for the goodness uh, of your grace to be poured out upon us. So Lord, move in churches, move, anoint preachers around the world and anoint your people that we may declare your kingship despite knowing what is to come during the next week. In fact, Lord, we pray that we will declare your kingship even louder, knowing the end of this story. Oh, our Saviour was triumphant over the grave. And so we commit to you this day I pray your blessing upon it. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God now and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.